What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel my friends. Welcome back. For those of you new, my name is Jonathan and in today's video we're going to be talking about five things you should know about the May 7th Super Flower Full Moon that's in Scorpio. Let's get started. The Great Awakening has begun my friends. Are you aware that in the past month the search term prayer has gone up 651%? coincidence I don't think so are you aware May 3rd this past Sunday the biggest live stream interview of all time online with was with David Icke and it had over 1.1 million people who followed this or 1.1 million people who watched this and what was the message the message was about moving forward out of love the message was about beginning to trust your intuition above all letting go of rationally thinking and worrying about the outcome and follow your heart and do what you know is true and by doing so the universe will bring forth everything and anything that you absolutely need to move forward third thing are you aware that right now there are three there are six planets Sorry, there are six planets that have retrograded. Therefore, when planets retro retrograde like this, ends up allowing us to really go within, really start to go into the dark and really begin to ask ourselves the really important questions. That's what everyone's currently doing right now. There's this major shift that is going on. And then lastly, are you aware that by having this super full moon going into Scorpio, Scorpio is about darkness. Scorpio is about death. Therefore, it's going to bring light to the darkness it's going to reveal to each and every single one of us what we must let go once and for all all right let's start with what you need to know about this super full moon the first thing that you need to know about this super full moon it is now time to give up and restart what say what it is now time to give up and restart and listen to me just for a minute okay what i'm talking about this super full moon is nothing like i've ever experience before since the beginning of my awakening all of these moon cycles has just seemed as though it's just another chapter but this is no longer the case this super full moon is literally the end of a novel you're literally right now finishing up a novel and now you're going to be able to rewrite yourself a whole new story you're going to be able to experience things on a whole new level but what's really important right now is to go into the dark to look at what has not been working for you for the past six months to what have you been hanging on to for the past six months when you know it doesn't resonate with you anymore you know from your heart space that you should let go of this and is now time to tie up loose ends let go of what no longer serves you in order to bring forth something of even better greatness to bring forth something that's going to bring forth even much more joy and just take a look at your life okay no matter what type of life you've lived, if the more pain, painful experiences you have, the more pain, the more suffering you've had previously in your life, there's no choice. If things have to balance out at a certain point, therefore now you're on your way up. Now, you know what? You qualify. You will experience situations that are going to bring forth so much more joy than you have possibly ever imagined before. But it's, you need to absolutely start cutting ties starting letting go of what no longer serves you in order to bring forth something even bigger and something even better you now qualify okay you have to start thinking this way you now qualify you deserve it and you're worthy of receiving unexpected blessings and miracles that are going to bring you happiness beyond anything that you've ever experienced in your life and the second thing you should know about the super full moon it is now time to jump into 5d permanently and i know i can tell you this i was one of the most frightening things that i experienced during my spiritual awakening when things went great i was the holiest of holiest persons when things went great i was the most spiritual person and the biggest believer that you could ever imagine but all of a sudden when you're getting near that date you're like, okay, as an example, I got to have rent come forth at this date. And now you're getting closer and closer to that date. Several times I fell back into that 3D mentality. of okay, I need, to get, I need to work this many hours to bring in this much amount of money. But I'm telling you this right now. At a certain point, you have to decide right now that there is the major shift that's happening. And that's what's happening right now. We're shifting from 3D and we're moving up into 5D. But now it's up to you to believe that you're going to be able to manifest what you need in order to move forward and just continue to act upon that guidance you're receiving and I'm telling you this if you believe you will receive 
okay it's a, it's simply it's that simple but it's allowing yourself to go through the process once or twice in order to get rid of that fear in order to get rid of that worry in order to get rid of that anxiety but it's really time now to elevate your game and to believe and to trust beyond anything you've ever trusted before and allow yourself to once and for all stop bouncing back from 3d to 5d and now step up to 5d permanently and i'm telling you this if it's coming truly from your heart space whichever direction you're going with or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest it is going to come forth trust in yourself believe in yourself believe in the higher source you know believe that it's going to happen and then once and for all take that leap and you're going to say, you know what, after you've done it once or twice, you're going to say, oh my God, why did I resist for so long? Why did I keep on jumping back and forth from 3D to 5D when now, you know what, I've managed to bring forth two miracles in a row and I now believe and I now trust in the higher source. I now trust in God. And the third thing that you should know about this super full moon, you now have the ability to expand your consciousness beyond anything that you have ever imagined possible take a look take a look at the last month month and a half look at all the inner work that you've done look at the deep questions that you've been asking yourself look at how you've been able to release things that things that no longer resonate with you look at how you've been able to let go things of lower vibrations therefore you've been raising up your vibrations this entire time and now with this full moon coming forth it's going to amplify this therefore it's going to be leveling you up as far as your vibrational frequency therefore it's going to be expanding your consciousness beyond anything that you have ever imagined it is now time to step up your game as far as meditations for those of you astral project and maybe you haven't done it in a while maybe it's time to go back to this because you're going to be gaining this incredible amount of information and not only this for some of you it's now time to discover what your soul life lessons are meant that you're meant to learn here on earth in this lifetime and i know what some of you are thinking i'm jonathan i'm just not there yet i don't think i'm there yet trust me okay i made a video about that and also about ancestral karmic debt figuring out whether or not you have been left an ancestral karmic debt or a karmic surplus and i'm telling you this once you start to gain this information as far as ancestral karmic debt or surplus once you're able to realize what the debt was and how you're able to reverse it now i'm telling you this you're going to be attracting abundance like you have never done before you're going to be leaving your future generations a karmic surplus and i really encourage you no matter what stage of your awakening you're at whether you feel you believe that you're ready to learn this information or not take 20 minutes and go watch this and i'm telling you this it is going to trigger something from within you it might not be this week you know what i mean that might not be today this week or this month but in a very short period of time you're going to start learning this and once you start what's amazing is once you start to discover your soul life lessons that you're meant to learn and also whether you have an ancestral karmic debt or not that is what's going to align you with what you truly are passionate about. That is what's going to make you head down the right path. And also for some of you, you're going to be able to match up your vibrational frequency in order to access the Akashic Records. The Akashic Records is picture or library filled with every piece of information you could possibly ever imagine. But it's now time to believe it's not time to continue to amp up your game continue to level yourself up and allow yourself to expand your consciousness it's the same thing with psychic mediums i'm telling you this right now in the past month the communication i've been able to do the messages i've been able to receive the guidance i've been able to receive has completely leveled up and it will with you if you believe that it can if you continue to raise up your vibrations and make sure that you're in the right frame of mind when that full moon comes eliminate everything and anything that's negative for the next four or five days for the next week and really focus on raising up your vibrations and don't be afraid to ask during your meditation what is it that you need to learn what is it that you need to know in order to move forward and the fourth thing that you need to know about this super full moon it is now time to fully step up your game as far as your spiritual gifts the spiritual gifts that have been given to you it's now time to fully unleash them okay it's now time to fully embrace them and to let go of this self-limited belief of 
I, how am I going to be able to use this? You know, I'll give you an example for those of you who are empaths out there, for those of you who are able to sense out energies. For a while, I felt like a victim. For a while, I would literally stay at home as much as possible because I was taking in all these different energies. But then I realized that I still had inner work to do. I realized that I had to get myself out of victim mentality and begin to thrive. I realized that I had to heal up to a certain level before this became a gift. So whatever spiritual gift you have, start to believe that, you know what, you're much more powerful than you think. Start to understand how powerful of a gift this is. Like, take, take, just take a look. I know these are just two movies, but take a look at Neo and the Matrix and take a look at Harry Potter. It wasn't until they fully believed in themselves that they were literally able to awaken these profound powers that were found within them and that's the exact same thing that's going to happen to you once you let go of this three this 3d limited self-belief and you begin to realize you are an infinite spiritual being having a temporary life experience you are much more powerful than you realize you are but it's once you start to believe in yourself and believe in your abilities and allow yourself to fully express yourself that you're going to be able to really maximize these gifts that have been given to you and lastly the fifth thing that you should know about this super full moon it is now to once and for all decide what will the story be. I've just said it. Right now we're finishing a novel. It's no longer just another chapter. And you have two decisions to make. Are you going to ponder this for the next six months? Or are you going to begin to take action on the guidance that you're receiving? I'm telling you this. The moment you're able to start trusting your heart, the moment you're able to start trusting your intuition, you forget about money, you forget about any of these 3D self-limited beliefs, and you just move forward. You just move forward with what it is that you know to be true in your heart. You move forward with what it is that you're passionate about. I'm telling you this, you are going to have the most incredible experiences come forth in the next six months. You're going to be able to feel a level of joy that you have never felt before in the next six months. And like I say, do you want to look back in six months and say, you know what? I should have started acting upon this back then. I shouldn't have allowed certain self-limited beliefs to hold me back. And I did this during my awakening, guys. It literally took me almost a year to start doing my YouTube channel because I was comparing myself with others. Because I was looking at others as competition. And that's 3D mentality. That's 3D mentality. I'm telling you this right now. If you, Even if you start a spiritually based business, guess what? And you have all the abundance in the world come forth to you. I'm not going to go without. There's more than enough abundance for everyone doing no matter what type of work they do. So start doing this. Start acting upon that guidance and just continue to work at it slowly each day. And I'm telling you this, as you gain more information, as you continue to use that guidance to move forward, you're going to align yourself down the perfect path. And imagine now in six months, even though maybe in six months you won't have attracted all the abundance, you're going to be knowing more clearly this is the path that I was meant to take and especially for those of you right now I am telling you this right now for those of you who are awakened and you're looking to bring forth the love of your life you're looking to bring forth a twin flame relationship it's not gonna happen until you start acting upon that guidance and still until you start aligning yourself with your life purpose there's just no way it is not going to happen so if right now you have so much love that is spilling out of you that you're ready to share it with somebody special. If right now you're ready to have that deep emotional connection, that deep soul level connection, start acting upon that guidance and believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that anything is possible, that miracles will come forth, that unexpected blessings will continually come forth in order to continue to guide you down that path because they absolutely will. Well, that was five very powerful things that you should know about this super full moon. And I'm telling you this, guys, I have never felt the level of energy that is coming through. I have never believed more in myself than I currently do. I have never believed more in humanity as far as this big, massive shift that is currently going on. We are heading towards the right direction. The great awakening has begun. And what I really want you to put your focus on over the next six months is I believe. I believe, I believe 
let go of any self-limited beliefs. Anytime you have a negative thought, I want you to think of three positive thoughts. Anytime you start to go out of alignment with what you know to feel right in your heart, get yourself back on that right path. Continue to push forward. Don't allow anyone else. Don't allow anyone else's thoughts or actions or words to stop you from achieving what you know you should do. Let go of needing to be validated by others. Who cares what other people think of you? Let go of fearing any type of judgment from others. Let go of possibly thinking about, oh, these people are going to ridicule me. Who cares? Who cares? Because you know what? Once you do what you feel is right in your heart, you're going to attract people that are going to want what it is that you're going to serve. They're going to want what it is that you're going to create. You're going to be beginning to attract. Not only think about this, those you want to attract your soul, your soulmate or your, your twin flame. You're, you're forgetting something. During this journey, there are soul tribes also. There are light workers like me all around the world. And you're going to find your soul tribe. And I'm telling you this, you're going to be so much happier than you are now because you're going to be connecting with like-minded people. Why? Because you finally allowed your authentic self out. You finally said, fuck it, I'm peeling back the layers and I'm being my authentic self and who cares what anyone else thinks? You like me the way that I am or not. You don't like me, you go over there. And you're gonna see, you're gonna attract people that are going to respect you for who the authentic person is. They're going to respect you for your beliefs. They're going to respect you for your opinions and you're going to respect them. And then that's the soul tribe connection that's gonna come forth and then you're gonna see that life is going to get good. I'm telling you this, this is, yeah, this is the end right now of all this 3D mentality, the big major shift happening. But I'm telling you this, what we are going to experience in the future years is going to be so much better than the way life is right now. Continue to believe in yourself as I believe in you because you will succeed. You deserve it. You qualify. It's not time to step up your game, follow your heart, and take massive action forward. And you know what? Whenever you're ready, willing, and able to receive rewards, whenever you're ready, willing, and able to receive these unexpected blessings and these miracles with wide open arms, they're going to come forth. Well, that's going to do it for the video. <laughs> you guys have an awesome day. You take care of yourself. Get yourself grounded. Go outside in nature. Get some vitamin D from the sun, okay? You guys take care. I love you guys. Namaste.